everyone curious how you use the quick start feature in your iPhone 14 Pro. So what this allows you to do is it will allow you to transfer data directly from an old iPhone you have to your brand new iPhone 14 Pro. What's really cool is you don't need to use iCloud, okay? So you don't need to worry about uh, getting extra iCloud storage. Everything from your old iPhone will be transferred directly and there are absolutely no compromises. On the iPhone we're trying to transfer data from, you must open up the settings app, find the home page of settings. You're then going to find where it says general and then find where it says about. So you want to check your version of iOS, okay? So under the about section, you may see software version, iOS version, or if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see version. Whatever it says here, software version, iOS version, or just version, you must have version 12.4 or newer in order for the data transfer to work. So for me, I have 16.1, that is above 12.4. If you have version 13, that's above 12.4. But if you have version 11, 10, 9, this data transfer will not work. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go out of the about page settings, tap on the software update button and update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. Once you have done that, head over to the home page of settings, tap on Bluetooth and just make sure Bluetooth is on and you see now discoverable as and then your iPhone name. If you don't see this, tap on this toggle to turn off Bluetooth, then tap on the toggle again to turn it on. Okay, we have now prepared the iPhone we're trying to transfer data from. Just make sure this device stays on the home screen. So you should see a screen or message show up on the iPhone you're trying to transfer data from. But in my case, I saw the message and then it disappeared. So in order to get the message back on the iPhone you're trying to transfer data from, we're gonna open up the settings app. We're then gonna find where it says general then going to tap on the shutdown button and you're going to slide the power off. If you do not see the shutdown option, then you just need to press and hold the power button and then slide the power off. Give it about 10 to 15 seconds and then you're going to press and hold the power button and you should see the Apple logo show up. If you don't see the Apple logo after holding the power button for five seconds, release the power button and try again. So now we just need to wait for my iPhone to go to the lock screen. Once we are on the lock screen, you just want to unlock your iPhone, give it a couple of seconds, and this time we should see the prompt. So we'll give it a couple of seconds here, and there you go. Set up new iPhone. Use your Apple ID and the Apple ID here to set up your new iPhone for yourself or a child in your family. So you're going to tap on continue. And you're going to see it's going to connect to your new iPhone. Now we see waiting for other iPhone. You also see hold up your new iPhone up to the camera. So what you're going to do is you're going to hover over your old iPhone and then place the screen there in the frame of this bubble. If you want a situation where the scanning is not working, tap on authenticate manually and then enter the authentication code you see. Once you see this, you're gonna see getting things ready and you'll see set up new iPhone. So I'm just going to tap on set up for me. It now says enter passcode of your other iPhone. So this is the passcode of the iPhone you're trying to transfer data from. So I will enter this one in. Now it says setting up. It may want to activate the iPhone you are trying to transfer data to. Now it's asking for Face ID. If your iPhone has Touch ID, it will ask for Touch ID. For the sake of this video, I'm going to select Set up later. But if you want to, tap on Continue, and then you can follow the on-screen instructions to set up the Face ID. Now we see here, transfer your data. If for whatever reason, instead of transfer your data, you see here absent data, what you need to do is on 
this iPhone right here, you're transferring data to, you will need to wait about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so lock the device, 30 seconds to a minute. Then you're gonna unlock the device, select transfer directly from iPhone, and then you will need to repeat the same instructions. So if you don't see that pop-up show up, you restart your device, go again, etc. If you give it three attempts and every time you're brought to the apps and data view, then you will need to do the method of going into settings, selecting your Apple ID right here, going into iCloud, iCloud backup, and then you will need to create an iCloud backup. This is a bit inconvenient. However, this should not happen to 99% of people. Once you created the backup, you just tap on Restore from iCloud backup, sign in with the same Apple ID, and then use the iCloud backup restore. So we have the option to download from iCloud, but we also have the option to transfer from iPhone. I personally prefer transferring from iPhone because with iCloud, unless you're paying money every month, not all the files will be able to transfer over. But when you do transfer from iPhone, all of the files will be transferred over and you don't need to use iCloud at all, which is excellent. So I'm going to tap on transfer from iPhone. It's going to ask for the terms and conditions. Let's select agree. You're going to see here, make this your new iPhone. Let's tap on the continue option. It's going to ask for iMessage and FaceTime. If you would like to set this one up, tap on continue. For the sake of the video, I'm going to select not now as I may be asked to sign in iPhone analytics. If you would like to share those, you can. I'm personally going to select and don't share. Then tap on continue. Now it wants me to download a software update. So I'm going to tap on download and install. And this will download the latest software, which is available. After some time, you're going to see here verifying update. This whole time, you just want to make sure the iPhone you're transferring data from doesn't move. Just leave everything how it is. Right, the software update has finished. Let's enter in our passcode if it asks. And now it should reconnect to the iPhone we're transferring data from. So now you're going to see here transferring data. So you have done everything successfully. Wait for this to finish. Do keep in mind that after the data transfer, has completed but all of your data will be on the iphone you're transferring data to you may need to re-sign into some of your accounts again for example the banking apps they may require you re-sign in to your new iphone so don't reset don't erase uh, this iphone here that you're transferring data from make sure all of the accounts are signed in successfully and then you'll be good to go so with that being said Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.